with the great Kali going into the Hall of Fame this year, I mean, uh, is he a Hall of Famer? That's the question. Um, that ain't my point to judge. Now, personally, if you were to ask me, I don't think he's Hall of Fame material because we're on account of where if WWE would have used him, the, the thing about WWE and the big men is that I don't know if the big men are not too serious about their job or if WWE just puts the big men to the side. I mean, because it used to be a point where the big men mattered in, the, in wrestling, but now it's just like they get thrown out there and that's it. Uh, Kali, when he first came into the business in 2006 and 2007, he was phenomenal. He was unbeatable and untouchable. But it just seemed like after he lost the World Heavyweight Championship, it's just like he took a turn for the worst ever since. You know, when you win your first World Championship or when you're undefeated, I mean, you're unstoppable. But once you lose that first defeat, it's like, there you go. And his career went downhill big time ever since he lost the World Championship. Unfortunate that he lost the World Championship, but, I mean... It's wrestling, of course, and business is business when it comes to that. But I would put The Undertaker, I would even put Batista in the Hall of Fame before I even put Kali in the Hall of Fame. I mean, because I would even put The Rock in the Hall of Fame. But it's not my uh, place to call. Uh, it's, I'm not the owner of the WWE. I'm not the one to induct people in the Hall of Fame. But I mean, congratulations to Kali. Um, that's all we can say, really.